Here again, the first three, all of these figures were already discussed. And we're talking about while the new COP center remains endodermal, the cells of the organizers become the dorsal mesoderm and migrate underneath the dorsal ectoderm to induce central nervous system to form. So let's summarize the function of organizer. The function or of organizer, the ability to self-differentiate into four ty cell types, pharyngeal endoderm, head mesoderm, dorsal mesoderm, which is the notochord, and dorsal blastoboral lip. Have the ability to dorsalize, to dorsalize, that's mean making the cell to, to migrate in dorsal position. Dorsalize the surrounding mesoderm into lateral mesoderm, otherwise it will form ventral mesoderm. It has the ability to dorsalize as well the ectoderm and the induce formation of neural tube, and it has the ability to initiate the movement of gas stimulation. Let's talk about the model of mechanism. So we understand at the first of the lecture that beta-catenin with the interaction of the two other proteins, VESH-T and VESH-1, can induce another set of proteins called the XNR nodal genes, which regulate the gradient of XNR nodal genes will regulate which kind of um, mesoderm will develop. At low concentration of XNR genes, it will develop um, a uh, ventral mesoderm. At high concentration of XNR genes, it will develop dorsal mesoderm. At intermediate concentration, it will develop uh, intermediate, uh, intermediate uh, mesoderm. So let's see the mechanism, how it works. You can see here, starting from the, at the site of opposite to the point of the sperm entry, uh, three kinds of proteins are translocated into the future section of the embryo. You can see in from a figure A, figure B, you can see that uh, uh, the protein uh, dish, uh, dish field and GSK, GPP, and went 11, went 11, is translocated to the dorsal side after the uh, sperm entry. Once they are translocated to the dorsal side, uh, went to 11, stabilize the other two protein. And these two proteins, once they are stabilized, they bind and block the effect of another protein, which is called, uh, as, as shown from figure, uh, uh, figure uh, D, these, um, uh, once uh, they block the action of GSK, they, they, thereby preventing the degradation of beta-catenin on the dorsal side. So beta-catenin is uh, prevented from degradation by the, by the blocking of GSK3. So ultimately, in the final, in the blastula at, at the later stage, figure E, at the later stage of um, uh, blastula, you can see that you have two kinds of cells. Cells at the dorsal lesions have a beta catenin represented by colored nuclei, and cells at the dorsal region have no beta actin because it's degraded. So why it is it is present the beta actin in the dorsal region because it is stabilized by the action of blocking of GSK3. While from figure D, from figure D, you can see that GSK3 is active at the ventral region, while it's blocked by the three protein 111 dash and GPP at the dorsal region. That's why beta catenin is localized in the nuclei or active. Let's mean active in the nuclei of the dorsal region. Again, if we summarize the event uh, to bring about induction of organizer in dorsal region, we can see that the same figure of the blastula, which have two kinds of cell, beta-catenin beta -catenin and, uh, and the ventral region, there is no beta-catenin. You can see nuclei at the ventral region, the beta-catenin is degraded. Why is it degraded? Let's see. Because at that region, there is a kind of transcription factor TSP3, uh, T TCF3, bind to the promoter region of three important, of two important genes, CMS and twin genes. Once this TCF3 binds to this promoter, it will repress the activation of these two genes. What happened on the other nuclei on the dorsal surface? You can see during cleavage, beta-catenin enters the nuclei and bind with the transcription factor uh, TCF3 and activate these two genes, so they switch, switch on the transcription of CMS and the twin genes, hence it's activated. Once they activated these CMS and twin proteins, CMS and twin protein, will migrate, CMS and twin, interact with organizer with two other protein, which is SMAT2 and SMAT4 uh, uh, transcription factor, activated by uh, 
TGF beta family member, which are node related gene VGL genes activine. This lead together these two, these two sets of transcription factors activate the organizer genes such as cordin and the noggin and geocide. So ultimately, we have an activation of cordin and noggin and geocide. <clears throat> the presence of VHT transcription factor in the endoderm prevented the organizer genes from expression outside the organizer gene, okay? So let's summarize the events of gas relation. You have a uh, base distillation initiated at the dorsal marginal uh, zone below the equator at original site of gray crescent. You can see that the appear, appear, it starts with the appearance of a slit-like dorsal blastoporal lip. We call it cells are bottle-shaped bottle cells. You can see the bottle cells and the starting of the uh, movement to the inside. Uh, then followed by involution of the marginal zone, we call it MZ in synchronization with epipoly of animal pole. So you can see the two mechanisms involution followed by epipoly. Uh, the migrating cells that reach the, the dorsal blastoporal lip turn inward and the travel along the inner surface of the animal hemisphere. Cells contributing the dorsal blastoporal lip are constantly changed. So the first cell entering is the first bottle cells, then followed by the precordial blade then followed by the cordial mesoderm. This is a sequence of cells that migrate over the dorsal blastoporal lip. This dorsal blastoporal lip, uh, once it's formed, it starts to expand laterally and acquire a crescent shape, this dorsal blastoporal lip, then ventrally forming a complete circle around the endodermal cells called the yolk plug. So the blastocele ultimately is displaced to the side opposite the blastoporal lip, and now our kentron is formed. So we can see represented figure showing that the first figure you can see that there is no dorsal blastoporal lip has been formed. And you can see that the dorsal involution marginal zone, there is two kinds, either deep layer or a head layer. So you can see starting the starting by the bottle cells that envisionate, envisionate inward, you can see that start cells to roll inside. Until, uh, until all of the cell have been uh, internalized. This is another figure showing that how the dorsal lip is formed and how the bottle cells is, is, the, is the first cells to internalize inside the uh, blast sheet. Here you can see the different movement. So this is the circle we have been uh, talked about. So you have dorsal blastoporal lip that migrate laterally and then combined with a ventral blastoporal lip to form a circle which is called yolk plug. You can see that the lines which is dark, that's mean the migration from the outside, then got internalized and the migrate with the line that is thin from the inside uh, the end. You can see here at A, that's the start of the, uh, that's the end of the blastula. At B, the beginning of the dorsal lip of the blastopore. At C, these dorsal lip start to migrate uh, laterally, and you can see at the ventral region, you can see the yolk is appearing, okay? At D, this uh, dorsal blastoporal rib migrate more laterally, and these yolk cells start to be, uh, to be um, smaller because it is internalized inside the embryo. Uh, at E, you can see that there is a merging between the dorsal uh, lip of blastopore and the lateral and the ventral to form a circle, and this is called yolk plug. Because why yolk plug? Because you can see the yolk through this pore. So the marking, the marking uh, of the end of gastrula that you look, they, that the yolk plug have been totally reduced. That means that the all the endodermal cells have been internalized. You can see another figure uh, more representative. It's the same figure actually, and actually the yolk plug appears yellow because it's endodermal and full of yolk. So you can see how the dorsal blastoporal lip have been have migrated laterally and then ventrally to form a, a, a circle, which is the dorsal blastopore, in which you can see from through this circle the yolk and the yolk plug. Here again, it is the same actually, but you can see within a section uh, through the blastula until the formation of the gastra. So you can see from the blastula throughout the formation how the blastocele is formed 
uh, sorry, how the arc Clinton start to form with the reduction and uh, uh, with the reduction of the blastocele and displacement of the blastocele, and from the outside, how you can see the yellow uh, representation of the yuck have been reduced, reduced from A, B, C, D, E until it's totally internalized, and you can see as well the different region of the uh, gastrula by the end. Thank you.